Hi, I'm Connor Summers, and I'm here with uh, Mr. Toman, and uh, it's, it's your last day here. This is my last day. It's, uh, what, it's about 2.40? Yeah, so, <laughs> so we've got about 20 minutes to go. You're spending your uh, your last time okay. with uh, with me out here. <laughs> Let me rethink this decision. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think now is the time for me to ask you uh, who your favorite student is, since you're spending, since you have... Well, I mean, I think that would lend itself to right. an obvious answer there. Which yeah. I think also would lead us to the conclusion as to what your favorite uh <laughs> <laughs> we got <a> location choice <laughs> i uh i here we go we're good i think also uh i think last Thank interview you. this is the fun yeah. right i think that would also lead us to believe that that club would be your favorite club at it, the high school, right? Be, I'd be hard pressed to find a better one. <laughs> That's a better choice, yes. So uh, you've been here now for uh, this is your third year, right? This is my third year. Three yeah. years. How was? What was your favorite year, first of all? <laughs> I, was, I was just talking to Mr. Julian about that. I'm like, some someday down the road when I go back and try to remember my RCHS experience <laughs> and try to put it all in sequence, I, I think I'll have trouble doing that because my first year. As soon as I got here, we started tearing the school down, and then and then we didn't finish the year. We only we only were in school for three quarters. Yeah. And then my second year, we went to the churches, and we only stayed until one o'clock, and we didn't have kids on Fridays. And then when we came back, we only went till one o'clock. Right. And then and then this year we were actually back full days. So I told him I said, I feel like in three years of being the principal here, I've only put in about a year and a half worth of work, but it feels like it's been eight. <laughs> so that's uh, to try to go back and remember the the sequence of things that have happened over the last three years would be extremely difficult. Yeah. To say which one was my favorite would be Im impossible because there's three extremely different years. I mean, right. just extremely different. Unbelievable the the number of different things that have happened and the change we've gone through here. So it's that's hard to say. Well, you know, it's weird because you've only been here for three years, but uh, I mean, your time here and your administration has built a whole new we've school. Done a lot. <laughs> we've, we've done a lot. Everything's yeah. different now. Say, it's only three years, but it feels like it's been about eight. So, right. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. yeah. Everything is uh, brand new. Everything is shiny and clean, except for uh, <laughs> except for the bathroom. What a good day. <laughs> everything shiny and clean and yeah. free of. Artwork. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! So, uh, I mean, anything? What What do you think is the most memorable moment that you've had here? Maybe a day, maybe a game. Just the most mm. memorable moment that you're going to think of in ten years of your time here. Um, probably that day. And I say memorable, but I can't remember exactly the day. But just the, the day that we got to come back in with the kids and come back in here. I think that was. That was a big one for me. Even though it wasn't completely done, it was it was really cool to, to get everybody back in here. And uh, I had been dealing with it for almost two years, trying to get it built. And I still kind of was seeing all this stuff that wasn't done or wasn't quite right. But yet, when all you guys came back, that's not what you guys saw. You saw <laughs> this really cool place. You got to come right. to school too. So that made it all worth it. So that was, you know, what was that in January of 21? Last year. You yeah. know, that we got to come back in here and start having having school it was still abbreviated but it was school so that, that was that was the, the best thing right yeah. so i know where you're going actually i don't know exactly what your job is called <laughs> but i'm assuming the name or the word principal is not in the no it's still administrator no. but not not principal not principal not so principal, yeah. part of your job as principal not necessarily administrator uh -huh. was coming to all the sports games uh -huh. And I'm sure you had a lot of fun oh, yeah. going through yeah. a lot of wins, uh, depending on which sports teams you were visiting, maybe a lot of losses uh, as well. Yeah. But <laughs> more, more wins than losses right. in general, I think. Right. Yeah. So I have to ask first, I have a couple questions, but I have to ask first, what was your most, the game out of all the sports, out of all the games, what do you think is the game that you remember as the biggest win or you know the biggest moment? Hmm. Uh, probably would have been and it would have been right before, right at the end of the 1920 boys basketball season. Of course, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a boys basketball nut, you know, but it was the, uh, was it T-Town that we beat it right at the end? Or? 
it was. So when Quinn hit the layup at the, at the end to, to win that game right at the end. Oh, that, yeah. was, that was a huge game. A huge yeah. win for that team, and that, that was just a lot of fun. That was the last the last normal, um, exciting basketball game that we right. were. You know, because last year just wasn't the same. And I really hope we get back to having some of those memories yeah. in, in the gym this year because that was, you know, that was early, early 2020. And here, yeah. we, here we are, you know, late 21. Mm-hmm. And we, we really haven't had a normal high school basketball experience since then. So hopefully we get back to that. Mm-hmm. Along with that, who would you say has been, uh, you know, you work around a lot of people, uh, whether it be administrators, whether it be janitors, whether it be faculty, whether it be teachers. So who do you think at the school has been sort of uh, your your number one person to go to or, you know, the person that you're the closest to out of all the staff, everybody here, who do you think has made the biggest <laughs> impact on you? Oh, well, I mean, it just depends. I mean, the obvious answer is Mr. Julian, of course. I mean, he and I work together every day every second and he and he and coach music we're all just right there and we work together but that, that's the obvious answer but but really my, my kind of my confidant and my my guy that i can go to if i need to vent or uh yell at or whatever it is you know mr wheeler he and i he and i go way back uh to my sophomore year of high school when he we started teaching at noble and i was a uh, you know i was just a pup and, and <laughs> we uh I tell this story sometimes because we, we hired this guy named Wheeler to be the assistant basketball coach and history teacher, and the, the rumor was that uh, he was a 6'8", um, African-American um, former basketball player, college basketball player, and he was going to come in, and we were going to be like, whoa, and then we were standing around waiting on open gym one day that summer, and Clay rolls up, and <laughs> Not to say it was a letdown, but, uh, but it's, a little bit of a it letdown. Was a, it was a little bit of a surprise. <laughs> we, the rumors were not true, but uh, Clay ended up being one of my best friends, you know, for all along, and, uh, and he, he, it was really a pleasure to work with him here because right. I, I had never got to do that professionally. So, right. so it was fun. He's a great teacher, does a great dude. So that relationship you have with Mr. Wheeler, you know, and I know you're friends with a lot of people around the school, but I have to ask if maybe I don't know. A lot of teachers have rivalries. Whether it be <laughs> teaching different subjects, whether it be they went to rival colleges, is there any teacher here that you would say you have a, a hard rivalry with? Hmm. A rivalry? No, not, no. I mean, not not here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, Mr. Houchin and I, of course, he's at the middle school. He, he and I always kind of have a kind of back and forth quite a bit on, on a lot of things. But, but no, not really here. It's all been pretty good relationships here. I don't see any right. ri- rivalries here, no. right? I hear that um, for your time here, the principal's office had a, uh, a candy that represented. It's uh... <laughs> <laughs> a completely story. It was cinnamon, cinnamon fire Jolly Ranchers. I can't believe Mr. Julia blew that when I when I put him on the spot <laughs> like that. But the, that 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 goes back to the Simpson days, I believe. The, uh, the official candy of the RCHS high school office. Oh, really? The cinnamon fire Jolly Rancher. Yeah. And I I had one the other day, and I can say they're not. What I they're not as good as I. Uh, oh, good. I don't. Like I would too say many blue raspberry. Harvard, no, they're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was a green apple guy before this, but then I had to stock up on cinnamon fires here. So. Right. So uh, here at the high school, we have a lot of uh, symbols, maybe sayings. Uh, right over there, we have the uh, pound the stone rock. Mm-hmm. This year, uh, Coach Music has come up with Ubuntu. Yeah. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of, uh, I don't want to use the word hype, but hype this year and a lot of slogans that we have used to get everyone uh, into the school spirit, mm-hmm. OTN even, mm-hmm. you could say. So what is your favorite uh, One Tiger Nation slogan or? Uh, really, how do you OTN is my favorite for, that we're really using this year. I just, because, you know, I talk a lot about basketball, baseball, football, that I'd stuff that I really identify with and I know well but but anybody that knows me is working with me very well very often knows that man I just I just love seeing kids engaged in whatever they're passionate about and that's kind of the push for that um, is whether it's I, I, I play band in high school I've done my fair share of dramatic uh, acting and as some people know uh, but I love sports and, and uh, everything I just like pe- seeing people engaged in school and involved and I mean you're, you're a guy's prime example of that you, you do your little 
drum line and your bat club and band and all that stuff, but I think you're as heavily supportive of athletics as anybody, you know? So it's just, I just like seeing people that really buy into what we're trying to do and get everybody involved. So how do you OTN is really, that's the way I like. I've got to ask along with that, tonight, the big night, uh, I say tonight, tonight is the 28th, today's the 28th? Today's the 29th. Today's the 29th, but uh, tonight for us, I'm not sure what it is for uh, the viewers here, is the big uh, playoff game yep. for us, for our football yep. team. Do you have anything that you'd like to say? I don't know if you're going to get to be there or if you're going. It's a heck of a distance, but do you have uh, – yeah. yeah, it's the uh, – I got accused this morning because they're playing the midgets, and I always make sure that I say they're playing, playing the midgets. Somebody was like, "You just want to say midgets on the announcements." Like, it's just, that's <laughs> just a funny nickname. Yeah. But uh, I just I wish them well and hope they can get it done tonight. And you know, I just I know they'll represent us well. Coach Meese will do a great job with it. Uh, they they've had a kind of a tumultuous season, and they really you know to to end up five and four in the regular season, and uh, we kind of gave up one win that we could have had. To, to go play a tough opponent. I mean, that's just a really classy thing to do. So I'm glad to see they still got into the playoffs and are able to have a fun trip and go play somebody and who knows, come away with a win and right. maybe get another home game. You know? <laughs> I'm uh, assuming with you leaving, of course, uh, in the middle of the school year, that next uh, Monday, next week, right, we will move on to, uh, I don't know, is it called an administration? Is regime. That, I think it's called a regime. A new regime. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's... I guess more uh, <laughs> professional, right? Uh, and I'm assuming we know. Yeah, Mr. Who it's Julian be, is, right. is, is taking over. Yeah. Right, right. I didn't want to say it on air and then it not be. No, in, we're not. Are we live? Is this live? No. I don't. Is this live? It's it's not live. <laughs> so, do you have anything that you would like to say? Any uh, important tips? Any uh, any advice that you would have for uh, Mr. Julian and his sidekick, whoever that may be? Yeah, we'll find out. Won't we? Um, there, there's the things that I would tell them behind closed doors, of course, that I probably shouldn't say on camera. But uh, I think Mr. Julian knows this, that it just, uh, it's all about those relationships. And I, I feel funny saying that to him because he's probably better in relationships than, than anybody here. He's just such a great guy. He's a perfect guy to be taken over here. Um, I, I think I had a lot of skills that uh, were, were well suited to help us get through the renovation and all those types of things. But I really feel like he's the perfect guy to be taken over now. And, uh, Hopefully, RCHS from here on. So, as far as the sidekick goes, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'll probably leave my number in there somewhere they can call me. If they, if oh, they <laughs> you're going to come back as the VP? Is no, that? no, no, no. Just oh. a behind the scenes uh, <laughs> advisor. Wow. Nothing like revving the Oldsmobile. Looks like they're giving you the the good old farewell from RCHS. Yeah, that's what it was. That was a <laughs> Very well. When you have the whole experience on the yeah, last day. Yeah. So uh, I just want to say for the student body and for VAT Club, you know, thank you for everything that you've done here. I think that, uh, you know, personally for me, I think that you've been uh, a great role model. And I think that what you've done for the school and like the how do you OTN thing, I think that it's great because it's not just another, it's not just another thing we say, it's something right. that you. This year as a student, everyone has really felt, and it's really felt, you know, with Tiger Fest, with all these activities, with the push to get everyone involved, and I think that um, your uh, regime has really uh, helped a lot of kids around the school to get involved, so uh, thank you. Good. <laughs>